All right, so first we're going to describe a sphere, and I'm not even going to try to draw one. You don't want to see that, or maybe you do if you are looking for some humor. Uh, I'm simply not very humorous. But the equation of a sphere in a rectangular coordinate system, uh, well, first, a sphere has a center and a radius. So if a point, uh, let's say x comma y comma z, and there are numerous points on the surface of a sphere, but if a point x, y, z is on the sphere, how can we describe that point? Well, if that point is on the sphere, then x, y, z is r, which is radius, the dis whatever the radius is, a number. It's that many units from the center. So let's say that, uh, so a, a common way to write this is if the uh, center is the ordered triple h, k, and l, right? It's Those are numbers now. So just to be clear, x, y, z, they are variables, right? Because there are an infinite number of points on a sphere. But a sphere has a single center. So h, k, and l are numbers. They're the coordinates of the center that does not move. And r is the radius. It's also a, sorry, it's also a number. Okay, so just to be clear, x, y, and z are variables. So if the center is h, k, l, and the distance between x, y, z, and h, k, l, so the distance, so if the center is this, then the distance between that point x, y, z, which is any point on the sphere, and h, k, l is r. So we can describe a sphere with a distance equation. Namely, um, the distance equals, so in this case, r is the distance, the distance equals the square root of the horizontal distance between them, or sorry, you know, the, the x distance, the y distance, and the z distance between them squared and added. So x minus h, that's going to be the front to back distance that has to be squared, plus the difference in the y's. That's going to be the side-to-side -side distance, the horizontal distance. And the distance between the z's, that's going to be the up-to-down distance, the vertical distance. And that equation describes the sphere, where x, y, and z represents the points on the sphere. h, k, and l are numbers that represent the uh, center of the sphere, and r is the radius. Okay? So... That, this is the more intuitive equation maybe for a sphere, but uh, lots of times we don't like to have those square roots. So you could also write this by squaring both sides. r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus z minus l squared. Okay? So if we look at this equation, 25 equals x minus 2 squared plus y squared plus z plus 4 squared, then this is a sphere, and I said squared, but I wrote fourth, sorry about that. This is a sphere, because it's in, this is a form of the distance formula. The center is the ordered triple, well, the 
x coordinate of the center must be positive 2, right, because h would be positive 2 here. The y would be 0, because y minus 0 squared is just y squared. And L would be negative 4, because Z minus negative 4 is the same thing as Z plus 4, so L must be negative 4. And then the radius, notice that the radius is squared in this equation, so this is the square of the radius, so the radius must be 5. So this is a sphere with that center and with that radius.